All right. Terrific. <laughs> okay, you have the controls. We're on a heading of 090. We're holding 2800, right? Okay. Uh, and you're going to let me know when we get the weather and what approach you would like, right? All right. All right. Let's get this weather over here. Let's see if we can that. requested to adjust pattern to accommodate waiting departures. Skyman's triple two, we've got uh, some difficulty with direct corny. Can you give us a heading for that? Skyman's triple two, continue on the heading of 080. 080. Autopilot on or off? I think I got to turn it off. I'm just was, it, was it on or off? It looks like it's on right now. You have no business in this screen at this point, so what you should do is get this up, and there it is, and then maybe this up. because you forgot or you never push load. So this is where your ship goes down the hill and, and, and sinks rapidly. So that's where we go. We'll go direct Leesburg, there it is. Procedures, select approach. You did all the steps, but you didn't do the one and only step, which was whatever it was that it was. So this is 
really where you're going to lose a where you lose a check ride. That's a shame because you were doing pretty good all the way. Load, activate. Now okay. you have it. Now you have it. So now we're in good shape. All right. All right. Range now doesn't work. When it should come closer, we'll probably zoom in. This is where this comes into play. Hey, sorry, I want this uh, three two three. This desired track is three two three. Don't, Let's turn don't, to that. Don't, don't start turning into nowhere land because you don't know exactly where you are, right? Right. So right now, you I mean, it seems to me I want to turn that way. <laughs> so, now, that, so next what you do is, since that first part got completely screwed up, now we're working our way to Cacus. So how would you now intercept the lag, leg to Cacus? All right. Get up Cacus here. Oops. The purple cor where's the uh, magenta arrow now? That's back here. Yeah, because you didn't do it. You pushed direct two, and then you pushed direct two again. So you, once again, did not really push enter. All right? That's where your ship goes downhill for the second time. Enter. So now you have, of course, the caucus. Now you can steer the nose a little bit in the direction off. You have a desired track of 086. You're tracking 103. So this is where you need to go about 15 degrees to the left. You have, of course, here with the heading. And you have your compass up there. So that's where it all starts getting very uh, 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 complicated, more or less, because this is where you control your aircraft. And this is where you control the quality of the aircraft. Okay. So now we're working, and now you have something going here. What's this guy doing right here? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be looking for him. So you're supposed to be at 2,800 feet, so it would be less of a problem. Uh, I'm ready to come down, but I don't know if I should, given that okay. he's there. Okay. Let's go down to 2,800. All right. I, I got my eyes open. Okay. So 2,800 is the altitude. Uh, this is where your basic flying comes into play with the help of small adjustments. Your mechanical flying helped by uh, your, uh, your your basic flying skills up here. Traffic. No, right yeah, I have him inside. No problem. Okay, thank you. 2,800 feet, please. This is where power settings come into play to set a normal descent. And then once you're established on that course, then you set your power settings to the way you mechanically fly an approach. You have your uh, compass for heading, and you have your compass rose for heading. But really, these two will help you the best. But you still need to pay attention to your altimeter, obviously. All right, so worried about this guy right here. He's gone. He's behind us. Thank you, though. Okay. This is a scale of 30 miles, so he's way already behind us. But it's good thinking. I got him. Okay. All right, so there's 20, 2,800. Put 2,400 RPM. <coughs> and we're trying to match these two numbers. That is if you were on the course, right? Now, 8.7 is the desired track. And so there it is. Except for it's just slightly to the right of this. So they really ought to be completely on it. But we can't really get any better than this because we don't have we have auto zoom. We don't can try and loop control the range. I'm just saying that because if you do do these two together, it doesn't mean automatically that you're on the course, but that you're tracking perfectly parallel to it on top of the course or maybe next to the course. Nothing telling me actually when I arrive at Cacus. I think it will. Your traffic cap 4528 is on a 45 for a uh, left. A 1.3 miles. Landing runway 174 South Leeford. 0.9 miles and we turn 171. Twenty-eight hundred feet. 
Atkins is point three. We can probably start that turn right now. Clear right. Okay. Clear traffic cap 45, 28. Left crosswind. We'll stop 17 Leesburg. We want 171.
Yeah, there's Danmo, so let's come back to 1500. Got a little bit high on this. Thank you, Phil Spark, for your talk. 1500. And 90 knots. Plotting attitude indicator, right? Yep. With the attitude indicator, you make small changes as a result of desire track and track, but the flighty attitude indicator. All right. Power spark traffic. This is Cherokee, November 50, your own Fox Trot. Uh, 12 down The power back up. Oh, a little too much for 1,500. Speed's a little bit low. Versus a little bit to the left. These were traffic scavengers, just triple two, about four miles north inbound, straight in runway 17. Stick with the course. Be a little pickier than that. Of course, this is a 50 mile scale. You're actually quite a ways away from it. Point three to Sayak. You are descent. A 9.40 and one. Minimums are 9.40 and one. Down after Sayak, which is point eight miles. Twelve eighty, we're at fifteen hundred. Power back a little bit to fifteen hundred. Bus park traffic. Three zero. Point four. Base runway three three. Right Out. there is twelve eighty. So we'll do some power. Body attitude indicator. All right, there is. All right, we're past SAC. We'll continue downward to 940. And we want 1500. 30, 90 knots. Winchester traffic scavenge triple two, two and a half miles north straight in runway 17. Miles. Alex, by traffic, this is Cherokee 33 on the Fox Trot. Final for runway 33. And there is 1,000, and we want 940. Minimums. Minimums. All right, do I see the airport? Plus, attitude indicator, power is good, airspeed is good. All right, look outside. All right, I see it. They immediately take their power back. Yes, sir. Traffic, uh, excuse me, Leesburg traffic, Sky Mitch is triple two, two miles north, straight in runway one seven. Minimums. Right. Let's do this. Minimums. Right here. We're. Like 75. Good, we're a little bit high. We're down a little bit. 75. Now you can use the brakes if you need them, but there you go. All right, clean that up, turn this off. Please for traffic, scavenge just triple two clear runway one seven. Right. Oh, sorry. 
Cool, very cool. One of the things that we need that uh, uh, your homework is when you get home, go over the video and look at a couple of items, right? right. The items are leveling off at your minimums. Right. The guidance is start your level off before you get to the altitude so that once you have the power setting set, it holds altitude. If you start your level off at the altitude where you're supposed to be, then the momentum pulls it through and you end up a little below it. And you've been very consistent with that. So take a look on the video when you look at that and say, okay, so 50 feet at least, maybe already 100 feet or so before you get there. Okay. All right. that nose wheel a little bit. All right, there it goes. All right. Uh, let's see, where do I have numbers here? 2608, or was that 2608.6? Okay. 